Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you a linear algebra book that you can use for self-study that is also a fun book to use for self-study. And the reason it's fun is because it has really cool topics. So you're going to find topics in this linear algebra book that you will not find in other linear algebra books. So a lot of the modern books don't contain the same topics that uh, this older book contains. This is the first edition, and this is by Serge Lang. Let's open it up. I'm going to show you what it has. Some of these topics are really cool. There's the copyright. 19, 1966. Wow, it was a long time ago. Let's just skip the preface and go straight to the topic so you can see so you can see what it has. So it starts with vectors, right? And then and then vector spaces right away. Then matrices. And then he does linear mappings. Oh, the book smells amazing. I can smell it from this. I have to smell it just. Oh, wow, wow. Linear maps and matrices, determinants, scalar products and orthogonality, and then matrices and bilinear maps, okay? Polynomials and matrices. We've got triangulation of matrices and linear maps, spectral theorem, polynomials and primary decompositions, multilinear products, groups, so that's not, again, something you typically see in a linear algebra book. Rings, we should look at that. Uh, convex sets, odds and ends. And here's how it starts. Vectors and RNs. So it's got a really nice, clean layout. Um, very easy to read. Very well written. The exercises are pretty good. Let's go a little bit deeper in, see if we can, so we can get an idea of some of the meatier problems. Here's just from the dual space. Let's go back. Back here, see what we have here, some exercises. So you do have some exercises. And, I mean, you know, these are, these are proofs. This is a book that has a lot of theory. Now, the advantage of having this book, I'm just going to speak from my own personal experience here, uh, for me was that I was able to use this book and read some some of the sections and get something from the proofs. There was a lot of proofs in here that I thought, oh, that's really good. And I understood them and I learned a technique. I'm like, oh, okay, I finally get what the other book was trying to do. So it just gives you an, an alternative reading experience, uh, which can help you if you're taking linear algebra today. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's, it's a different presentation of linear algebra. And again, you've got these fun topics. Let's look at the rings. Let's go there. It's near the end, I believe. I think it might be like, is it the last? Let me uh, check the contents here. Let's tell us what page. It is page 263. So yeah, wow. There we are, rings. Let's see what Serge Lang says about rings. Zoom in here so you can see. A ring R is a set whose objects can be added and multiplied. At S, we are given associations. So X, Y uh, goes to X plus Y. So you have two binary operations, basically. And then X, Y goes to X, X times Y. From pairs of elements of R into R, satisfying the following conditions. Under addition, R is an additive abelian group. And then for all x, y, z, and r, we have that the distributive law holds. Yeah, this is what connects addition and multiplication, right? This is the connecting property. And then for all x, y, z, and r, we have uh, that the multiplication itself is associative, right? x times y times z is the same as x times y times z. And then the last one is there exists an element e in r such that ex equals x equals x for all x and r. So then we have some examples here, r, uh, the integers, let R be the integers. R, whoops, R is a ring. Mm -hmm. Any field is also a ring. Yep. So I guess he, he defines field before. Defi so it's just very different from, from what you might expect. Mm -hmm. And the reason he does that, by the way, is because it's a linear algebra book. So, you know, when you define vector spaces, you define them over a field. So it makes sense uh, in that regard. 
Yeah, dimensions of kernel and image. So here's some examples of exercises. You know, you don't have answers in this book, I believe. That's, that's a big, big con. I don't, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I've mainly used this book um, for, again, just for reading. I haven't really done uh, the exercises from this book. I've done some, but yeah, dimensions in, of kernel and image. Look at these exercises here. Let V and W be a vector space over a field K and assume that dimension of V is equal to the dimension of W. Let F be a linear map. If F is surjective, prove that F is an isomorphism. Cool. Here's another one. Nice. These are cool. Fun little problems, right? These, they look pretty cool. Uh, here, compositions of linear map. And so you see, it's got a lot of, you know, serious theory. Um, no solutions. Let's go back to the contents just to double check. I'm not seeing any. Yeah, no solutions. So yeah, there it is. Serge Lang's Linear Algebra. Um, I think it's worth getting a copy if you can find a copy. I think it might have a different name, like the newer edition. I'll look. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but this is the first edition. So the topics change drastically from edition to edition. The newer edition might have, might have even more topics and it might be better. I don't know. Um, what I've noticed is though, for example, I have um, I have uh, calculus, a first course in calculus by Serge Lang, and it's the first edition and it's really thin, right? But then I have a third edition, it's got like a lightning bolt on the cover, it's, it has a really cool cover, but it's like super thick. So it's got way more content, right? So that happens a lot of times, or it has happened, uh, with a lot of the books written by uh, by Serge Lang. So uh, keep that in mind. So that's pretty cool. Give it a whiff here. Ah, smells amazing. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description. Also, if you want to learn math, check out my courses. Um, they're on Udemy. But if you get them, use the links from the description of this video because I've lowered the prices, so you should get a low price. Plus, it helps me. But I don't have a linear algebra course. I've got uh, Calc 1. Calc 2, Calc 3, um, Advanced Calculus, Abstract Algebra, Trigonometry, and then I have a couple, then I have like five or six more courses or seven more. I have a lot of courses. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's a lot of courses there. Um, so check it out. But yeah. This one's worth getting if you can find it. Just one more smell. Ah, it smells amazing. Anyways, take care.